With the release of the PlayStation 5 rapidly approaching, I felt it was a good idea to go over what we should expect for the launch of the console. Now, we have already seen the console itself and seen the controller and know all of the features about the controller. And we have, as well as that, we have seen the PlayStation 5's user interface and some gameplay from some of the standout launch titles like Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Demon's Souls. Now, for the console itself, it will be launching on November 12th for the United States, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Mexico, and South Korea. The rest of the world, the PlayStation 5 will be released on November 19th. Now, if you have not secured a pre-order for your PlayStation 5, it will be virtually impossible to get one at launch, so unfortunately, most likely, you will be waiting until 2021 for your console. But if you are one of the lucky few who is on the ball, you will only be able to buy a PlayStation 5 online. Don't bother trying to go to stores as Sony has already confirmed that if you want a PlayStation 5 at launch, you must buy it online. Now let's go over some of the launch titles that we should be expecting to see for the PlayStation 5. Starting off with the two heavy hitters, we have Demon's Souls and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Demon's Souls looks to be really fun and extremely challenging as well as it's a continuation of the Dark Souls type of game. Spider-Man Miles Morales is also looking to be a really excellent launch title with super fun open world mechanics and a great story. Some of the smaller games that are releasing are Sackboy A Big Adventure, Godfall, Bug Snacks, Astro's Playroom, Destruction All-Stars, The Pathless, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Devil May Cry 5 are also not PlayStation exclusive, they will be coming to Xbox Series X and S as well. We already know the PlayStation 5 controller will be featuring special features such as the adaptive triggers and haptic feedback. These are already looking very promising as people who have got the controller early say that this is a true next generation controller and truly enhances the gameplay experience by providing very different unique experiences for different terrain in certain games. A lot of people have said while playing Astro's Playroom that different surfaces truly do have different feels. Through the haptic feedback and the triggers and the analog sticks, you really do feel like if you are walking through sand, you're walking through sand. If you're gliding along on metal, you actually do feel like you're kind of tippy tapping on metal and it's really a true next gen controller. From the console itself, we know that it will be fully capable of 4K and 60 FPS. And Sony themselves has also said that the console will be capable of 8K and also 120 FPS for 4K. I'm sure that these are more marketing features as that's more reserved for higher end PCs as well for a console that you'll be getting for $600, $500. I don't see 8K and 120 FPS as a possibility. So for myself, I will be posting a full review of the PlayStation 5 as well as a review of the controller when I get the console on November 12th. And I will also be doing a review of Spider-Man Miles Morales as well as Demon's Souls later down the line. If there is anything else you would like me to cover on my channel, I would be glad to hear in the comments and I will definitely try and provide as much information on the PlayStation 5 and its release as possible. Okay everyone, so that's it for this video, I just wanted to give a quick overview of the launch of the PlayStation 5 and what to expect in only a few coming days. If you guys could leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel, it would be much appreciated as I will be covering the PlayStation 5. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.